Hi, my name's Stuart, and like most people, I've suffered from neck pain. I know how debilitating it can be, but I also know that there's a lot of hope. In this video, I'm going to show you how our free guide can help you get relief from your neck pain in as little as 10 minutes a day. So you don't suffer any longer, watch this video and take a look at our free guide now. Neck pain can have many causes, ranging from simple muscle tension to more serious conditions like degenerative disc disease. In most cases, neck pain is caused by a combination of factors, including poor movement habits and stress. It's really frustrating to have neck pain, but you're not alone. Neck problems are on the rise for many people in Britain, and researchers think this has something to do with our lifestyle changes over time, including using our computers all day. The purpose of our guide, like all good physiotherapy, is to help you reduce your pain and improve your movement. As well as helping you to improve both your pain and your movement, we want to help you save both your hard-earned money and your valuable time. You can rest easy knowing that we're here to help. We'll show you how some treatments are not helpful and where your time and effort are best placed. Some passive treatments might give you some short-term relief, but they can make your recovery take longer while wasting your time on unnecessary therapies. The truth is that more often than not, you can fix yourself with some simple advice and exercises just like our physiotherapy patients. If, however, you have any of the following, then seek a medical assessment from either your GP or NHS 24. If you have a history of malignancy, if you have infective symptoms such as a fever, if you have sudden severe pain after a fall or injury, if you suddenly develop neck stiffness, along with difficulty lifting both your arms above your head, if you have pain, tingling, numbness or weakness in your arms and legs, if you have a history of inflammatory disease, especially if you're on immunosuppressants, or if you have abnormal sensation or abnormal power in your arms or legs. If you have any of these, then contact your GP. Patients under the age of 18 or over the age of 55 with a new onset of symptoms should also consider seeing their GP. But if you don't have any of these red flags, then let us help you start fixing your neck pain. We'll be answering the following questions. What's causing my neck pain? What are the different types of neck pain? What are the five most common neck pain myths? How can I fix my neck pain? How much should I stress my neck? And how much should I rest my neck? How long will it take for me to recover from neck pain? And what are the three best exercises for neck pain. We'll be covering all of these questions and much more. 